You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, Days of Our Lives fans, Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I've got your two-week spoilers for Monday, March 25th through Friday, March 5th. There is a lot to unpack. We've got the christening. We've got a couple of secrets that look like they are just about to spill. We've got chicanery, shenanigans. We've got bad people trying to cover for other bad people. I'm so excited to unpack this all for you. And if you haven't, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our updates. Now let's dive right into it. So on Monday, March 25th, we've got Kristen meeting up with Alex there in Horton Town Square and they are talking about how to make Teresa and Brady jealous. They both want those two crawling back to them and more importantly, they don't want Teresa and Brady reconciling so they're going to figure out how to how to provoke the green-eyed monster in both of them. Sarah tries to convince Xander that, eh, Constantine's not a bad guy. You know, he's a changed man. We'll see. And Maggie sees a new side of Constantine after he gives her a reason to. I'm guessing this is more of his conversation with John Black, where he says, I have forgiven you in that thick Greek accent that I'm not going to try and imitate. I don't want to get in trouble. Um, and it's funny because John Capellas does not have that accent in real life, but he is laying it on thick for the show. All right. So I think just as an aside here that he doesn't want John to go to Greece and turn himself in because he's got that pawn card and he can control John. And I think he doesn't want John in custody somewhere because I think he's planning to do bad things with him. Remember he was eyeing that card again last week and Marlena and Steve work on John on Friday. They try to help him deal with his dark past. That takes us to Tuesday, March 26th, when Kristen slaps a big kiss on Alex as Teresa and Brady just happen, just happen to walk up on them in Horton Town Square. That leads to Brady pulling Alex aside for a heated conversation about him and Kristen. And you know who else is going to confront Alex is going to be Teresa because she doesn't think he knows who he's playing with because Kristen is, as we all know, murderous, bat crap, typical Demera, crazy. Wendy and Tripp discuss what they both think about what's next in their relationship. Now that they had that big beer vat marriage, we'll see if they decide to carry those vows over into a proper church. Abe and Paulina discuss all the miracles they've been given and how happy they are. That takes us to Wednesday the 27th and Marlena and Eric discuss the fact that they have both noticed tension between Nicole and Sloan. Okay, again, with this, I just say, duh. Us as the viewing audience, of course we know what Sloan has done. But as far as Nicole and Marlena and Eric know, Sloan hasn't done any of these foul deeds. So of course there's going to be tension. Nicole stole her baby. That's what Marlena and Eric should be seeing, is that Nicole, while grieving admittedly stole another woman's baby you can't really expect the woman whose baby was stolen to be totally chill you know letting her be around letting her hold that baby I mean I even if she forgives and understands it's and all that's still that would be triggering right Stephanie and Everett discuss where they are right now and we are going to see a very irate Jada having some things to say this week she chews her out and mocks her and calls him a lying sociopath and basically says Stephanie has been sucked in and I think Stephanie feels pretty insulted. Tate thinks a lot about his feelings for Holly and how this whole ordeal has changed him while he spends time writing in his journal. wonder if we're going to get some of those voiceover things. And Xander talks to Harris and insists he's not the one who shot him. Okay, yeah, we all know that. And Harris knows that. It's just that Xander doesn't know that Harris knows that. And I am not liking Harris much these days. 
even though, I mean, he is a dirty cop. He is doing something criminal to benefit another criminal. Even though he's not taking a bribe, I mean, it's it's an emotional bribe of sorts keeping Ava out of jail. So I don't like what he's doing, and I hope he ends up in big trouble. And Holly thinks she's finally ready to come clean to her mom about the drugs and Tate and what happened that night, but it looks like she doesn't because then they have to go over to Jude Brady's christening on Thursday, March 28th, and Holly is making life rough for Nicole and EJ that day. Marlena keeps pushing John to just forgive himself for what happened way back then as the pawn. And Brady and Roman are there to support each other. And of course, they are both on hand at the christening. And Melinda reminds Leo why he needs to keep their secret. But Leo is definitely speaking up during the christening ceremony. But I don't think he is going to get Sloan, Melinda, and himself in trouble. Friday, March 29th, Holly finally confesses. She tells Eric Brady that she was the one who had the drugs. They were her own drugs she took that overdosed. And he is going to press her to come clean to her mom and EJ, and she will. And more importantly, Brady is in the room to hear the confession so that EJ can't try and lie and say it never happened, things like that. There's a pact made between Melinda, Leo, and Sloan about this baby stealing secret, and Teresa demands answers from her son, Tate. The week of April 1st through 5th, interesting spoilers, scandalous secrets are revealed. It's hard to even guess what secret it is because there's so many secrets right now. There's the baby stealing secret, which at this point, you know, I hope comes out, but April 22nd, I think, is when May Sweeps comes out. So you're talking, it's a couple more weeks away after this. I think they may delay the baby give back for sweeps, but we'll see. There's, you know, the secrets about what's going on in Aria and that John was killing people as the pawn. There's Xander's secret fortune. There's Harris lying about who shot. There's so many secrets. More than one couple may be in trouble that week. So who might be facing a breakup? And I expect some April Fool's tomfoolery because Ron Carlovati loves to do fun things. EJ has things he has to hide from Nicole, things he has done. I'm certain this runs deep towards Stefan and Clyde. And Tate should be getting out of jail Hope, I mean, since she tells them on Friday, I would think that during the week of April 1st through 5th, we definitely should get all charges dropped and him walking out of jail unless EJ is screwing around and playing more games. And if he is, I just can't imagine that Brady and Eric won't both lean on Nicole to lean on EJ. So hopefully Tate will be a free man. Holly faces the consequences of lying and doing drugs. No, I don't think the coma was punishment enough. And it sounds like we are definitely creeping closer to Sloan finding a way to give back the baby after this pact that they make at the christening. Marlene is going to try and tap into John's hidden away memories for the truth about what happened in Aria and whether he killed Katarina. And Xander starts investigating Harris's shooting, which might make the dirty cop a little nervous. Those are all of the two week spoilers that I have for you. If you haven't, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our updates, spoilers, and news. Please come back here every single day. We're talking days, seven days a week on this, your number one most followed soap opera YouTube channel. And as always, I'm your host, Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 